Hello guys, this is Will with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and I'm here with a repair video. Today I'll be showing you how to replace a damaged or blown speaker driver on a JBL Link 300. This job does not require any soldering, so it is pretty simple. To begin, let's pry at both seams of the speaker to remove the front grille. The front grille will pop off like so. Now, let's remove four screw plugs on the outsides of the speaker. Next, there are eight screws holding this front assembly together. Let's remove them. Next, let's remove the screws on the holding the top, the top cover. The final screws holding this top, this top cover are underneath the buttons. Let's pry back this rubber seal. and free those screws. Next, you can simply push out on this top cover and it'll come free. Be gentle as there is a ribbon that'll be out here. You can pull it out Next, the last part that is holding the speaker together is this bottom, uh, bottom panel, cover, whatever you want to call it, and there are screws underneath this rubber seal. Let's free them up. There are two wire and ribbon connectors, free them up, disconnect it, and now the speaker is coming apart. Now, please note that there is a foam gasket that runs along the outside of the speaker. Be sure that stays in place. And also, be careful not to yank at this part. There's antennas that are taped to the housing. Let's go ahead and free, free up these antennas in order to get them out of the way. You can use a heat gun to lightly heat up the adhesive that they're stuck to. Now that we got this opened, be, be careful not to pull out this foam gasket that sits on the outside of the speaker. Be sure it sits in place for reassembly. Next, there are clip connectors holding the speaker driver. Be sure to unclip them. This is a rubber cover here. You can slide it back and locate where you need to pry up.
might be easier from this side. Something thin and sturdy should do the trick, like so. Next, this speaker driver is held down by four screws. The magnet is pretty strong, so be careful not to get any screws lost underneath it. And the speaker driver comes out like that. Now, for this demonstration, we're gonna use the same speaker, but your new speaker will show up like this. We can provide you with this part. The link should be listed below in the comments in the comment section or the description. So to install it, simply do everything in reverse order. Reconnect the speaker. These connectors are two different sizes, so a mismatch is not gonna happen. You can grab a thin tool, pinch, pinch the connector closed so that it does not loosen up over time. Now that everything is seated in place, also noting again that this gasket is not sticking out anywhere and it's flush into its place. Simply close the speaker. And fasten eight screws that hold this front, co front housing. Now we can go ahead and install the top cover. And slide the rest of the ribbon back into its proper place. And fasten the top screws. For the bottom, do the same thing. Connect the ribbon. Along with the power cable. If it's not sitting flush, that means your wire, your ribbon is still sticking out of its housing. Re-adhere the this rubber piece. Finally, the front grill. And there you have it, guys. We replaced the speaker driver on the JBL Link 300. If you need any parts, speaker driver, or any other part for the speaker, you can message, message us, reach out to us. We should be able to provide you with pretty much any part for the speaker if you lose or damage one of the parts. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.